We have 14 world titles out in the water. It's the elimination round. Gabriel Medina up against the GOAT, Kelly Slater. Uh, they love this guy. Phones are out, and uh, Kelly Slater effect is still full on, and here he is. Well, here he goes. Slater looking down the line, weaving with speed. Skips through that rock section there. Throws the air. And wow. it looks like he wants to play Medina's game. Doesn't when you know it's going to be a grindy heat like what you just had, how does that change your mindset coming into it? Um, over Kelly Slater, who held 18.93. First wave here of Gabe Medina with an easy float around this section. Some busy work there before now getting to some backhand turns. Wave cups out a bit on the inside where Gabe is lining up. You can tell he's looking for a ramp. Here he goes. Big rotation. Needs to really fight for a finish. Still grappling with the Whitewater. And a messy finish, but a completion for Gabe. And he Gabe. got a pressure free surfing. This, however, is a surfer surfing under pressure, but he knows how to meet that pressure as well, Pete. Yeah, he does. And I think that, again, great surfers love surfing against the best of the world, you know, and uh, Gabe, he does not want to lose this. He wants to keep that advantage that he has of seven over two. You make it eight over two as we see the big flat spin roll around. Again, crawls to his feet, and that's that core strength that he carries. I mean, he is so well trained, uh, you know, especially in his core. And that's why he's able to pull these moves off and get the pop that he gets. You see he's running down the line, sets it up, gets the pop, and then you see everyone sh everything shift forward with that front foot, spins all the way around, lands backwards, and just a little bit off balance and had to go for the layout. Look at that foot came actually off the board, puts it back on, yeah, and somehow holds it together. I mean, again, that's going to suppress the score. You, you want to pull that off clean, and that's where the big numbers come. Kabianka designed surfboards under Gabe Medina's feet. An interesting thing about Gabe Medina's equipment. Here we go, Kelly Slater. Let's see if you can do the math on this wave and work out the equation to a big score. Slater off the bottom, snaps it off the top, looking loose on the Firewire Slater designs. Floats the roof there to skip that section. One more section, skipping floater for Slater, arcing all the way back, looking sharp. One more floater to finish. 2.68 will take Kelly Slater to the lead at the moment. Kalani, his partner, with the applause there. A smaller set wave that we've seen. And this wave starts off slightly you know, slow to get it going, but this was the major section, and he did not disappoint. Straight up 12 o'clock with the drift, and then carrying all that speed. Floaters are so functional. When you are riding a wave like this, where you have to glide down the line and keep your speed going, that's what allowed him to get to that open face to finish that turn and then the finish nice and solid not going to be a gigantic number but he'll take back the lead i like the control right here with kelly just to pop the fins out the back beat and the vertical approach as well that adds to the difficulty of it you know he went straight up off the bottom turn and gets the board up and over and i love how he's able to stop the drift to keep the board kind of now 90 degrees to the wave and right back into the bottom turn. You know, sometimes you can get too loose and you're going to go your board sideways and you have to recover. Look at those, just the distance that he gains on those floaters are so impressive. And then the rail work right here. We've seen that snap for a couple of decades. It never gets old. To stay in this heat and uh, go bow for bow. Here goes Medina getting a little loose on that first turn. Snap on the backhand for the second. Make it three for Medina, and has to go up for the float to the finish. That wave ran off pretty quickly. Limited opportunity for Gabe Medina on that rock. Because that's what makes it so entertaining. Watching this again, more vertical with the backhand. That's that ability he has. So quick in transition, too. See the acceleration that he has. Good variety with the backhand from. There we go. Slater, a little bit behind there with the float, gets up in front. Some clean place. Kelly pops it up, spins it around, continues forward momentum. Yes, Cheeky the other 360 way. the other way, <laughs> rewinds it. Roundhouse cutback, stabs the rebound into the white water. Slater looking loose, inspired. I'm enjoying the show. Oh, uh, it's good. It's good stuff. It really is. Um, you know, the crowd loves it. I, like I said, the, the crowd comes down here to watch Kelly. Uh, and a smaller wave here, but gosh, he did. He surfed so good by keeping himself with the speed and momentum down the line. And then that section was called exactly for that style of move. 
But I love that he kept it going down the line and then goes the other direction. I mean, that section there, he didn't really have a lot to offer there. It was another floater maybe, but instead goes for the 60 hey, <laughs> the other direction. We don't see a lot of 360s anymore. I'm giving that some props for Kelly Slater. As it stands, we're watching this wave. He needs a 5.67 on this wave to take the lead. That wave looks still pretty sizable, you know, the maneuver. But I bet you when you're watching live, that was a pretty small wave for Kelly. Magina. Power carve to start on the backhand. Hooks another turn. Right back into the pocket. Stabs that third backhand re-entry. One more time for Gabe Magina. And he extends through that turn. Rhythmatic on the backhand right here. Looking for a little something special to finish off. Searching for a ramp. Building up speed down the line. Skips that section. Throws it up instead for the backhand. Rio goes complete. Looking to improve his 5.5. I would say slam dunk. Yes, it's done. Sizable set wave right in front of Kelly here. It does this little vertical tail whip, getting some release out of it. Then, see, just straight off the bottom into each move, sets it up, compresses off the bottom, straight into it again, and it's just rhythmic. And that's that great flow that he carries. He finally chases it down here where he's going to go, okay, the wave's going to start to speed up here, and I want to add a little extra. I know he was looking air. He wanted some a section for it, but it didn't present itself. So this the all this speed, Goes into that big vertical closeout hit where he drifts the fins. Nice impact. Fix, finishes the wave. Best wave of the heat, most likely. Up and surfing right here on the jersey of Kelly Slater. Slater zooming through this section. Has to pump around this section. Looking a little disinterested, and he kicks out. He'll still be searching for a 5.67. Can Kelly Slater overcome Gabe Medina? It was the perfect energy in the swell for Chopo, so it was still very tall and wild but uh, very approachable with your uh, your short boards. Here we go, Slater. Slashes a nice arcing turn. Needs to get around the corner here, does so. A little foam climb there, a little caught up. Needs some clean face, get some clean face now. Wave's gonna section on down the line, so still looking for something dynamic. Little lip glide over there, a little mistimed on the finish. We'll take another look at this and analyze last ride of Slater, Pete. Yeah, and again, see all the bump on the face. So he does well. He, he definitely still has the flow, but the wave, you know, again, gets the maneuver done here from behind, had to climb up it, a little off kilter, but then picks it back up again through this section. But always, the, it never was really super clean where he could just pick his spot and knew it was there. It was always, uh, again, you mentioned chasing it. Medina right behind Slater, coming around the corner. Floats that section. Floats another section. Needs to gain some speed and gets an arcing top turn lip glide for the finish. Kelly uh, gave Medina exchange between the two. Previous score for Medina, however, Peter, checked in as we went to break at a 7.5. So Kelly Slater now needing a 7.67 on that last. It's going to go into his top two as a score, but look how much smoother Gabe's wave is. It does have some froth on it, but ultimately I love these backhand where he Pops up on the lip and he gets all that speed. And that's what you have to have on the backhand here is get that projection down the line off those top turns and then the final move. Well, that's it. We're going to see Kelly Slater eliminated from competition. Gabe Medina on to the round of 16 and the three-time world champ building momentum in the event here.